we're doing a little tips and pointers with Rob Tatro. We love these segments. I mean, the first one, obviously, about the, uh, the election. So many people watching it, lots of uncertainty. How did the markets perform? What exactly happened there? Yeah, the markets actually rallied a ton, Gabby. The markets were up about two and a half, three percent yesterday, depending on Canada, US or NASDAQ. But it was a big, big day for the stock market yesterday. Now, you asked why. Why did the markets react so positively? The markets don't like uncertainty. And the uncertainty of a narrow Trump win or a narrow Harris win or even a, a blowout Harris win, you know, what would have happened? You know, who knows? One of the candidates might have protested the election. There might have been uncertainty. There might have been unrest. That is not good. So the fact that there was a clear candidate, the market loved that. It removed all uncertainty from the table. And now that we have certainty, we have a path forward. The market loved that. 1,200 points on the Dow. That's been a long time since we've seen that good of a day. The markets were up big yesterday. So I think a lot of people, maybe they're panicking, they make some kind of a rash decision or want to before major events. What's your advice there? Yeah, so this is the thing, Gabby. I mean, we've had a ton of people call us or email us in the last month or two or three and said, you know what? I'm scared. I'm scared of this election. I'm scared of this. Why don't we just pull all our investments out? Does that make sense, Rob? Why don't we just do that? Why don't we just wait? Well, the reason you don't do that, first off, is you have a plan, right? A plan that limits volatility, protects your portfolio, has defensive assets in it. First off, you have a plan. But second off, Humans generally are not good at making emotional decisions about money. And this would have been an emotional decision, right? To pull all your money out and to say, I'm just going to wait this out. And when you do that, you end up missing time in the market. And that is historically has been for Canadians an emotional thing that leads to very bad returns. And you just missed the last week in the portfolio, you missed 5% returns. And if you miss 5% of returns, that can be like half the year's returns. So why do you stay invested? You remove emotion from the process, you trust the plan, you trust the process, and then you don't do rash decisions based on emotions. Oh my gosh, all my money decisions are about emotion, Rob. I need an adult. Before we say goodbye here, what about the idea of selling your star stocks when the market makes new highs? Okay, so sometimes people will say, well, the stocks are hitting all-time highs. Why don't I sell and then I'll wait a couple of weeks till they bounce back, come back down, and then I'll rebuy them. Well, the problem with that, Gabby, is about a third of the time when stocks make new all-time highs, they never, ever break below that floor again. So they'll make new all-time highs. There'll be more momentum and more momentum. Today is the 48th time this year stocks have made an all-time high. If you had sold at the first one and said, I will wait, you would have missed all of this rally in the market. So again, plan, stick to the plan, remove emotion. And sometimes all-time highs are quite good for the market.